controversy tomorrow night at 10. And we are going to have some stormy weather overnight tonight. Brian Goddard is here with some very colorful radar, Brian. Yeah, Jake, we may not see or hear tornado sirens tonight, but you are going to hear a lot of thunder, some very heavy rains, and maybe even some small hail. The winds could also be an issue as well. Starting to see a little bit of activity now northwestern Dodge County, uh, but this is the line that we have been watching since about 3 o'clock this afternoon back into South Dakota and Nebraska that created those tornadoes. Uh, no tornado warnings going on right now, but this is an impressive line of uh, a squall line of thunderstorms. In fact, they have just now issued a severe thunderstorm warning. The weather service for the Richland Center area uh, working its way off to the east toward the Dells around 45 miles per hour. I put a storm track on this for the leading edge of the rain. Should be in Milwaukee sometime after 1230. That is not the squall line. The squall line would be sometime after 1. We could see winds approaching 60 to 65 miles per hour. That would be severe. Maybe some nickel-sized hail. A lot of lightning. Look at the flashing in there and also some torrential rain easily picking up about an inch of rain from this, if not more in some locations. Uh, this is until 3 o'clock in the morning. Dodge, Jefferson and Walworth counties would not be shocked if more counties were added overnight tonight as that squall line gets a little bit closer. Uh, the winds seem to be coming down just a little bit, which is fine. We don't want the wind damage, but you're definitely going to get a lot of rain and a lot of lightning out of this as well. Still could see some rain showers in the morning. Midday, early afternoon, a lot of sunshine, a lot of humidity from tonight's rain and heat. You've wanted summer. It will be here tomorrow. It was warm today. It's going to be even warmer tomorrow and even more humid. That sets up for another round of thunderstorms. They'll fire up tomorrow afternoon back out toward the Twin Cities, northern Iowa, and just like tonight, work their way into here tomorrow evening and late tomorrow night. This is mainly going to be overnight events the next couple of days. 86 degrees here in Milwaukee, 84 in West Bend. It was 91 in the Dells. We're currently in the lower to mid-70s. Plenty warm, a little bit of humidity out there, so that should help us a little bit. It's more humid off to the west, and hopefully that drier, cooler air near the lake will help kind of push this down a little bit. The dew point forecast, the first of the season. Steamy tomorrow, and then humid throughout the week. It will be uncomfortable tomorrow. Temperatures tonight in the 60s, tomorrow in the mid to upper 80s, with thunderstorms likely late in the day. So here's the forecast. We're under that watch until 3 o'clock until the western counties. 67 tonight, 87 tomorrow. We could see some rain in the morning, but then again late in the evening and overnight. The 10 day outlook, 70s the rest of the week. Yes, there's a chance of rain each and every day through Sunday, but tonight, tomorrow night, and Thursday night look to be the heaviest. We could easily pick up about four inches of rain the next Ooh, couple of days. It's wow. going to be some heavy rains. And 87 tomorrow. Steamy. Cook.